All right. I think I'm live. Yeah. Let me pull up chat. There we go. And we're going to work in the comp journal with some collage and paint and stencils. Hey, Ruby. And I was going to show you about the sale I have next Friday. Kind of give you a little heads up, sneak peek. Hi, Candy. Hi, Karen. So I have several pages. Um, I'm going to work in teal and kind of coppery browns today. Joycey colors. Hi, Susan. So I am going to have a sale on the 23rd of October, the 23rd of November, and December 12th. And right now, all the way through the 18th of December, I have everything 50% off. So I brought a few things to kind of show you. Most of it is in the shop. So I have some card packs. They're normally... Um, $15 for a set. So they'd be $7.50 plus the shipping would make it $12.50. So I have a few of those. Um, little sizes like this, which are 5 by 7 mat and 4 by 6 artwork, normally is about $15. Those are $7.50 plus shipping would be $12.50. And there's a I have a variety. A lot of them are abstract. Then I have, I have like almost 200 pieces. So that's why I broke it into sets. I have some little alcohol ink circles, some unmatted work. Then I have the 8 by 10, which is the 5 by 7 artwork. That's normally 30, so it's 15 plus 5 for shipping, so they'll be 20. And then I have the larger 9 by 12 or 11 by 14 watercolor, mixed media, acrylics. Um, these are not in mats, but I have some that are in mats. There's a variety. It's everything in my shop. The coupon is holiday 2020. If you buy multiple items and the shipping is less, I'll refund you. Etsy doesn't bundle the shipping very well. I also have some of the bags that were normally like 45. I not marked them down to 40. So at half off, they'll be 20 plus shipping. So that's kind of what I'm going to do with the sell. And you can either go through Etsy, PayPal, or Google Pay. But I'm going to do the first sell. The first lot that I'm going to show will be on Friday, the 23rd at 6 p.m. Central Time. I think it is uh, Debbie Epps. This is my Etsy right here. If you go Etsy.com backslash shop backslash Debbie Epps. All right. So today, um, let me show you, first of all, what I did with the pages that we worked on last Saturday. All right. This is where this one ended up. I added um, a card from Jersey, a little ephemera from the, I don't know where I got that. Might have been from Jersey or it was in one of the mixed media kits. A little paint chip. Then I... On this one, I just added that little ephemera over here. 
an ad, a butterfly, and a key. So I'm real happy with that one. Yeah, this is um, Christy Tomlinson. This one, I added the stitch marks. I added some sewing pattern and a little stencil work and some ephemera over here to try to kind of meld it together and make the ones that I liked show up and but hide the ones maybe that I didn't like that it was off. So I like that a lot better. I didn't do anything to that one. This we didn't do last Saturday, but I added this snippet from Jersey, and I love it. And then I went into Zazzle and turned this into a tote bag and some other products that could be purchased, and it looks really cool. That's the one we're going to work on here in a minute. I added this ephemera and paint chip and then two I painted two of the chipboards in a dark that dark purple for those and then this we didn't do last Saturday but I added some stuff to it I added a paint chip and this was an envelope from Jersey that I added with some little wooden butterfly buttons. And that was all I had. So when I was cleaning the other day, I was trying to clean up. So some of the stuff that was glued, that was extra. And I added some color on some of the pages that I had in my sponges. And that's kind of where I got to the pages that I'm gonna work on today. So this was just some red and some sprays. And this was just some golden paint spread out. And then I stenciled with uh, Prima Baroque. And I used vintage photo and red brick distress oxide. And then I just glued some ephemera stuff down and paper. So I'm going to finish this one up. And then this one, I just put some red paint just smeared out. Like I said, I was kind of cleaning the sponges out. So it was a lot of that reddish orange. On this one, I use that doily, and I don't want to put a lot more on this one because I like kind of how it is. And then this one, I put some teal, and then I put some rusty hinge and added some paper. So I'm not going to do a whole lot to that one probably. That's what I had prepped for today. So let's start with this one. Like I said, it was just some leftover paint was the base. Then I used the Baroque and I did two colors. I did the vintage photo and then I did the red brick. And then I added just some, this is a jelly print paper, some sewing directions. This was pattern paper. This was just some ephemera. So I'm going to use this stencil and I'm going to use this stencil right here to finish this up. I'm not sure. I want to use this paint right here, this Finnabar, but I'm afraid it might be a little bit translucent. So we'll see. I might put white down and then put the paint because I think if I remember right, these paints are a little on the sheer side. 
So we'll see. I know I want to put doily coming out here. I'm just going to put that on that. That's a little jelly plate sitting there. Might be all right. And this is just a composition notebook. I have not done anything to the pages. When I first started on my first one, I glued the pages double, but they just kept coming unglued. And so then I just decided I didn't really need them glued. So I haven't been gluing them. I didn't gesso. A lot of it is distressed oxide through stencils. Or sprays for the base. And then collage and layers of paint. That's not too bad. Right, and I think I'm going to the question is do I want to make it go over This has a little bit of a metallic shimmer to it. No, I'm not sure I like that over the top. Hi, Norma. No, I didn't cut any pages out. But I do tend to, I'm going to just let this. Smear out. All right. And then I think for this one, I want to use some cream. And I think I'm just going to add it to that paint. Put the lid on this. Uh, yes, I did. I'll show you in a minute, Joycey. I mix. I uh, did add some to one page.
Tanya? Hi to anybody I missed who came in. Let me finish what I'm doing. Then I'm going to check back in chat. All right. I like that. And then I think I'll do the same thing over here. Kind of get that white on there. To then I'm gonna add some little shimmer to it with the turquoise after the fact. Just use a baby wipe to kind of take back. And I think I'll grab that stencil again and get the brick and the rusty. Oh, I didn't use it. And I'm just going to add some more of this here and there. Just try to fill in some of those blank spaces. And some of the edges. need a new one. Of, oh, this is walnut stain. I thought it was vintage photo, but it's walnut stain. I need a new one of those. 
I think I'm going to add some. <coughs> Espresso. Just to darken some of that edge. It. with that one. Yeah, I like the I like this was just something I had like a little ephemera ad from something and I like how it kind of had that white in it. And like I said, this was just scrap um jelly print. This was some vintage scrapbook paper so i think this one's done the only thing is it could possibly use is it needs this needs maybe some more definition and i could come in with like paint pen or ink tints, but I want to think about that. All right, so I'm going to put a piece of deli paper in there. And let's go to this one, because I don't want to do a whole lot to this. I know I want to add... just some dictionary paper on the sides. And I think I want to add some pieces of this maybe here and there. Maybe tuck that. From the back.
It's a doily. Yeah, it's a uh, Christine Tomlinson. It's old. It's one of the first stencils I bought. Poor Tay Tay. Hi, Gail. Oh, it may not, uh, Gail. It may not like. Um, Definitely going to put that piece over here. And then I think what I'll do is I'll find something in my stash that can go in here. I don't really want to do another um, stencil, I don't think. That third piece isn't going on there. I'm sure she's here. She's probably uh, in the background cleaning up. Not say. Let's try this. That's not too bad. That gave it some... I'm going to go over the edge of these and then I'm going to blend it out. Take the baby white and go on those edges and soften it. And then maybe I'll put a couple right in here too.
wanted to put a couple right here. All right, so it crossed over just a little. But not much. I don't want it much on that page. Hey, Elizabeth. This is... I think it's a crafter's workshop. I think. pretty sure that it was a crafter's workshop. I have a letter one and I have this number one. And I'm pretty sure they were crafter's workshop. Because here's the other one I have. It's a combination of letters and numbers. And it's heavier. It's not that it's not what Deco Arts makes their stencils out of. I know it's not Stencil Girl because it's before I ever shopped online a lot. So it's either Deco Arts or uh, Crafters Workshop. But I don't think it's Deco Arts unless it's Andy Skinner. But I, my guess would be the Crafters Workshop, both of these. And I got them at Hobby Lobby, I'm sure, or Michael's. All right, so I think I'm going to leave that one there, and I may add some ephemera to it later. This one is just about done. I kind of wanted letters or numbers in a dark. And I think I wanted some of this. Paper. This kind of vintage. I think I'll put those there. I like working. I like when I work in the same colors because then it's, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of limiting my palette across several pages, but then I'm going to get pages that work together 
um, for a digital paper pack, but it also kind of limits what you have out. Hi, Katarina. All right, so I feel like it needs something dark on the page. I had taken out these big numbers just to put some random big numbers on there. And I think I'll go with the, the burnt umber or raw umber. And I'm just going to add it where I have that turquoise because I don't care if that turquoise goes in with it. I want the big numbers. The other thing you might have that you could use is the traditional like sign stencils. I even I think I even have some of those. And I think I'm going to get an ink tense pencil. Scribble, get that kind of wet. And that's permanent when it dries. mad because she can't come in oh well she'll get over it all right I kind of like that in that corner
And then I'm going to get a different stencil. I'm looking for some numbers. That's an Andy Skinner. zip code up here. I'm going to put this little circle element. Seven five one going down. We more brown paint. That might be it. Trying to keep it kind of uneven. I think that might be it. Might be too even right in here. That's my only. I think I'll stick a three right here. Thanks, Norma. Sometimes you just got to think outside of the box with them and not use them how they're intended. Okay. Okay. 
I think I want one dark teal right in here. I think I'm going to go back to this, but use the distressed oxide. She may have laid down. She may not be feeling real good. Let's see. This is going to be real subtle because it's almost like tone on tone. Yeah, that that added some interest right in that little area. It gave it another little layer. Because what I'm trying, I mean, what I like is the fact that this paper goes with this paper. So that's kind of my goal is to get four or five coordinating similar but different. So by using some of the same colors and stencils then I can get a set. All right. And they're not in a row in my journal because I just pop around here and there. Okay, so I've got some stuff, but that's not the page I'm looking for. That's one of the ones I want to work on today. This is it. I have this piece left over. Thinking that might work for the paper. See, she's there. And Norma, I forgot to tell you that the, the coupon code is in the Etsy. But if there's something special you like you want, if you just tell me, I'll make you a bundle and we'll figure out what shipping will be. I made Joycey a bundle today. All right.
first thing on this one is I don't have much of a of a like a background on here. So I'm probably going to have a Stamparia that's kind of a mishmash stencil. And I think I'll use that with some either that one or that one is what I want to use, I think. Um, leaning towards this aged mahogany. I'm just looking for some tone on tone, some pattern. I'll mix the two. Thank you, Kat. Yeah, everything is 50% off except the digital. My goal is I've got no art shows and over 200 pieces. And I didn't even pull for the live sales. I didn't even pull canvases. To show I just pulled pieces that were like watercolor and and mixed media bags and I have close for the three nights I have right around 200 pieces so there is something for everyone in my opinion Um, I just thought maybe holiday shopping. If somebody was interested in like little gifts. And I need to get it out of my house. But this is almost a year now of my art, se the season that I'd normally go to art shows because I didn't go any last spring. I didn't go during the summer. I can't go to my big one. So I was like, this stuff is sitting here. And it needs a good, it needs to go to a good home. I think those music notes are I don't even know if it's music notes it 
it's got to go this way because that's the way the writing goes. All right, I think that's good. That gives us a background to work on. And now I want blue, I think. Yeah, I didn't offer the code on the digitals, cat. I just offered it on the categories that were physical. This time. I started to, and then I, I don't know, I, I, I undid it. My goal was to get rid of the physical, the stuff that, did y'all see that picture? It's covering a four foot table. It's crazy. It's stacked about one foot tall, four foot long, about two feet wide, and leaning up against the walls. So it's got to go. That might work. with what I'm digging through the stencils to find what strikes me. And for right now, I'm leaning towards pops of florals. Funny how many stencils you have and you just gravitate sort of to some of the same ones. Okay, I can't find the one that I want. The new one. No. 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 
I just used it last weekend, so it's got to be up here. Here it is. All right. So I want to put some pops of this in blue and green. But I think I want to put a little bit of this in a soft blue in the background. Yeah, I had the one watercolor penguin that I sold. It's been a while back now. And that was the only penguin I had, Joycey, that I know of. Okay, and I'm just using little bits of this and kind of some blue gray. soften that. All right, and then I'm going to go back with the darker blue. And then I think I'm going to go with some green with the fern. Prussian blue to that palette just for later. Black. All right. And we'll use the sap green for the fern. And I'm going to use a little white in that too.
Yes, I do. I will look for the penguins, Joycey. I do. Do a third burn right here. Oh, yeah, I can do that. It's, uh, I'm going to have that for sale. The red cardinal, I do have that original for sale. But yeah, that would be a good digital because it's Christmassy. I have a blue J too that's Christmassy as well. That's very similar to the Red Cardinal in style. Okay, and this one needs some work. I need more white. Okay, that looks good. And then I think I'll put a little blue off of here, but not a lot. Just one more. Okay. 
trickling out here. Okay, and then I think that I'll take and put this right in here. And I'm going to use that Prussian blue mixed with some of that gray. make it super dark. All right, and I think before I do this, I think I'm going to spray this with some spray just to give it a little tack just using pixie spray Okay, that's good over there. And then I'm going to put it up here. As well, I need more Prussian blue.
All right, and then I'm going to put thinking the edge of one right here. Then I need to show Joycey that page with how I finished that one blue green page. That one is done. May have gotten a little busier back here, but I like the fern and the navy. All right, so where's that one that Joycey wants to see? Here it is, Joycey. I just added some stuff over in the area that I didn't like it up here. But I didn't add any Jacobian to that one. Okay. That one's done. Done. I think I just have one more set for this afternoon to do. I'm going to use some of this stuff, I think. I thought about staggering these and putting something, some piece of ephemera on them later is what my thought was, but I'm not sure yet. Let's start with this jelly plate that we've got some. Grungy goodness. I'm just trying to get some grungy bit off of it. So I'm going to put some more damp paint. Well, that one won't open. And then let's keep Adding some grunge here and there. I 
that's pretty good. I got most of the grunge off there. Let's try a stencil. Let's go crazy. And let's stencil. white or blue whatever it's going to be this is the streets of puerto rico stencil It's actually a mask. Mm. Too much blue. So let's do this. I'm just taking off paint. to any of it. Hi, Kathy. Okay, let's go in and add some starburst in copper. And let's dry that. Let's put the paints away.
All right, and then let's add to that. Let's just go with that grunge. Let's add um, some ground espresso in the distress. Just kind of get that roached look. Let's dry that. Yeah, I like the leaf in blue too, Joycey. Okay. I'm liking this lighter yellow, so I think I'm going to go with a pop of yellow. I think I'm going to add this architecture paper. In a couple places. Maybe with some dictionary stuff. Let's try that. piece of that there. And then I think I'll cross the ditch with this other. that up a little bit. That piece in the corner and I think that's all the paper I'm going to maybe another piece of dictionary.
Hi, Devin. Okay. that piece of dictionary. I don't like that little bit of that botanical. Stick it on there. I don't know what stencil I want to use, but I know I want it to to like glow. I want the it to be kind of yellowy, glowy paint. So I might need to do white and dry it, and then do. I'm kind of into the botanicals right now. So I think I'm going to use. No. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, people. Clean up why my brain inventories my stencil choices I have another floral that goes with the fern have that because I'm leaning towards the floral again. The pops of the floral. I think I want to use that same floral. I just had. With maybe this. Soft green. Mm. 
I'm going to add a soft green in the background with some of that white. This one. This one over here. All right, I'm not looking at chat for the moment, just a second. Kind of adding some of this. So we need this really bright yellow. And I don't know, we'll see. Hot mess. 
I'm adding some white to that yellow because it'll help make it more opaque. And I am going to spray the back of that stencil again. And that distressed ink is coming up through some of the paint, those spots, which I like. Add more yellow. mix up the two floral I get some more yellow out. All right, I like the yellow, but now I feel like it needs dark. Like it needs the plant again, like this in a very dark. I'm going to go back to the raw umber and the sap green. Let's 
Somewhere I'm going to find the sap cream. Thanks, Devin. that and then I think I'm gonna put it up here now when I think I know what I want to do too next I think I got a plan. Okay. And then I think I want to put some right here. Tay Tay is not happy, y'all. Sideways here. That works. And it needs maybe a light green. like that. It's one big floral mishmash. But that's okay with me. And then I think I'm going to stamp. Now, I don't know. I still may come back and do something like this later and put something there later with a, a focal point. But, okay, real quick. Let me get some water. All right, I'm going to take this. I'm trying to get the paint out of my sponge. And we'll come back and we'll finish that page in just a second. 
but this will be a base for another. And I'm just getting the sponge wet to get like all the paint off the jelly plate, off the sponge. I got most of the paint and then yeah that's kind of what I'm sort of shooting for in in reality I guess is pieces that would be backgrounds or and they remind me of fabric that's not working so let's try this all right let's put all the paint back and all the distressed oxides away and I'm gonna stamp because I think I can stamp on this and add a little more interest to it Cleaned up most everything this way. I'm thinking some of the vintage Tim Holtz stamps. Oh, and let me show y'all something that happened. I thought, I think I did it. I was looking for this B stamp and I couldn't find it. And it was laying with this stamp right here. And I actually melded them together. And I think it got close to a heat gun because it was all like gooey. It was crazy. All right. So those are what I was sort of thinking about. I don't. There's a postage one. I'm just looking for some vintage. I'll use this alcohol proof alcohol proof dye all right so this one let's start with this one and then let's add I'm just gonna make a little like collage of them
All right, I think that's the first round I'll use. I like that. I like that 15. I think I want a postage mark. I need to move this. some more bold I like that 15 cent I wish I had more bold numbers this one has a bold I'm going to switch inks Yeah, I think um, hers is more Asian. That's what I wanted. I wanted that some numbers right in there. That's fun. There's a couple other sets of these I want to get. This is a little dark for me, so I'm going to wipe there. I like it better. It was just a little too heavy. All right, and then. 
then let's see, that goes there. Just trying to put some of these back. Maybe we'll try this one. It's got like a lot shipment type number. And again, I think that's too strong, so I'm going to wipe some of that back. And I think I want a number at the bottom of it because it's sort of abrupt how it ends. a little all right I think that's good I think that helped give it some depth and some interest in those layers let's uh, put the ones back that go where they go That's a little button. I don't know where that came from. Timmy has a big one. I actually think these are Timmy ripoffs, to be honest with you. Timmy has a big one that's the gray that I want, but it's like $30 for the set. So what I'll do is I'll take pictures of these and then I'll go through and decide if they need any other vintage stuff like I did on the last ones. I'll just flip through my ephemera stuff and decide. But I'll take pictures first. Thanks for hanging out, Vix. I'm basically done. I'm just going to I'll just do a real quick flip through and show you. And a lot of this is not done. So that's one from last week that I finished. This one I haven't done anything with. This is where I'll probably start next. It needs some paint on there. Uh, this one was from several streams ago. This one's done. I've been hitting the florals hard. This one's done. Another floral one. This is just some stuff, you know, like beginning layers. Extra paint. Throw down. This one's done. This one's not done. It needs more, but I don't have it. I think it just needs some ephemera, and then it could be done. Reminds me of a shirt. This one reminds me of a, a cotton shirt. With the collar and the cuffs. This one will need layers of stuff. This one I think is done. I might put a focal point on it when I'm done photographing it. This one's done. 
this one's done. I think this one's done. This one's done. I'll put that deli back in there because that might still be tacky. I think this one could use a focal point, but I'm going to photograph it first. This one's done. Done. And I think that's it. I think there's one back here that started but not done. Yeah, this one started but it's not done. So I've been working in book three and not so much book four. Lately, this one still has lots to do in it, but I've been taking a break from it and working in this one. Thanks, Norma. So once again, on the 23rd, it's right on the table. On 10:23 at 6 p.m. and that's central 7 eastern and then again oh that doesn't work and here we go so it 10:23 and 11:23 and 12:12 12, 12, this one is 7 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Eastern, and 3.30 Central or 4.30 Eastern. And so this is what I'm going to show lot one, lot two, and lot three. But they're all in the shop. And you can buy any of them at 50% off. The coupon code is HOLIDAY2020. So if you want to go into the shop and look ahead, you can shop through Etsy or you can wait to the night of the sale. Anything that's sold, I'll take out of the video i mean i won't put in a video like joycey won't be in the video so if there's something you de you definitely want yeah so it'll be next friday 6 p.m central 7 p.m eastern lot one like i said i pulled about 200 pieces and then i divided it into three lots Thanks, Kat. And then December the 12th is my normal stream time, which is 4.30 Eastern for lot three. But if you find something in the shop, the coupon is, it's all 50% off except for the digital. It's holiday 2020 is the coupon. And if you buy more than one thing and it'll overcharge you for shipping possibly, I will refund any shipping if there's overages because it does that sometimes on Etsy. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out.